The largest town that Boko Haram ever controlled lies in ruins, its homes empty. Bama in northeastern Nigeria was occupied by the Islamic militant group for seven months. During that time, the town was destroyed. When Boko Haram invaded the town, they set all these places on fire. The place where I'm standing now, it was a maternity home of the General Hospital Bama. Now it has been made to be a deserted area. Nigeria's army recaptured the town in March 2015. But although the militants were driven out, they remained nearby in the Sambisa forest. Despite the fragile peace, authorities in Bama claim they've beaten Boko Haram. Boko Haram have been defeated. They have been chased out of all our communities. They do not have the capacity to hold on to any territory in Nigeria. Tens of thousands of people displaced by the violence continue to live in camps. Authorities say they should be able to go home within six months. But for those scarred by the occupation, the thought of returning home is alarming. I was there when they killed my husband and my relatives. Some of them were even burnt alive in their homes. If I go home, Boko Haram will kill me and there's nothing to eat. As security slowly improves in the northeast, the full extent of the devastation caused by Boko Haram is being laid bare. According to the World Bank, it will take nearly $6 billion to rebuild northeastern Nigeria. But no amount of money will heal the trauma still felt by those who survived.